Hello all my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to share with you this traditional Indian wedding guest makeup look with emerald green eyes and bright pink lips I think this look is perfect for all our Muslim brides as well as for our Maharashtrian brides all you need is proper clothing and proper accessories that's it also I created a cut crease look without using a concealer yes you heard me right this is a cut crease look using only eyeshadows. I know there are so many people who are afraid of using concealer uh, for their cut crease. So I think this video will be perfect for them. So if you want to know how I created this look then please keep on watching. So first I'm taking this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Black Brown and I'm just creating the borders first then I'll be filling it in using smaller strokes. This eyebrow pomade is my current obsession. This is so good you guys. If you haven't used that yet, please go ahead and use it. Now I'm just combing my brows so that there is no patchiness whatsoever. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Edge Rewind Concealer in the shade uh, Sand Sable and I'm just cleaning up the borders so that my brows look well shaped. And I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows. I'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge. This is my Real Techniques beauty sponge. Now I'm using this Bharat and Doris Loose Powder in the shade 07 and I'm just setting the concealer so that it does not crease. Now I'm taking this light brown shade from my Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette and with this fluffier blending brush i'm just applying it as my transition color this brush is from puna store if you haven't uh, used this brush yet do use these brushes these are so good now i'm taking this dark chocolate brown color from the same palette and i'm just applying it on my outer v area for that i'm using this tiniest blending brush from elf now the key of achieving a nice cut crease is using a small brush and as you can see I'm applying the shade mainly focusing on my outer V area and I'm not dragging the shade uh, above my crease. I mean you can probably <laughs> watch me doing here. Oh my god I'm so bad at explaining things. Now I'm taking this orangish brown color and again I'm applying it next to the brown eyeshadow to create a nice um, gradation again I'm not dragging the eyeshadow above my crease I'm dragging it up to my crease now taking this L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade golden emerald and I'm just applying it on my eyelids for that I'm using a flat shader brush you should use a flat shader brush for applying shades on your eyelids and as you can see again I'm just um, creating a line uh, through my crease I'm not dragging the eyeshadow above my crease now I'm just blending it uh, with my uh, finger first and now I'm just applying the same uh, orangish brown eyeshadow and I'm just blending it with that deep brown eyeshadow you can see it has already created a nice crease line now I'm taking this gorgeous shimmery uh, golden color and I'm just applying it on my inner corners for and as well as I'm blending it with the green eyeshadow for that I'm using the tiniest brush and again I'm creating a crease line here now I'm taking this black eyeshadow and with this pencil brush I'm mainly applying it on my outer V area because I felt like I needed more depth on my outer V area. Again I'm not applying the color above my crease because if I do so it will be a like a smoky eye instead of a cut crease. Now I'm taking this dark chocolate brown color and with this angled brush uh, I'm just deepening up my crease this step is really really important it will give an illusion of cut crease you can totally see the difference it made now i'm taking this uh, shade again and i'm just smudging out the harsh edges 
for my primer i'm using this nyx photo loving primer and i'm just priming my face and neck i already moisturized and exfoliated my face about half an hour ago now i'm taking these two color characters from la girl this is their yellow and orange characters and i'm just applying it wherever i have pigmentation and dark spots this is a bridal makeup or wedding guest makeup so color correcting is must now i'm just blending everything out again with the same damp beauty sponge for my foundation i'm using this milani conceal and perfect concealer uh, sorry <laughs> foundation in the shade 05 or warm beige and yeah i'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge this foundation gives you a medium to full coverage now i'm just highlighting the high points on my face using the same concealer like under my eyes cupid bow chin sides of my mouth down the bridge of my nose forehead and just under where i'm going to place my contour next now i'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge now blending is the key of having a flawless base so always take your time and blend your cream products perfectly I'm setting my under eyes and uh, my smile lines using the same Barton Doris loose powder and for my entire face I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte loose uh, compact powder. Now all the products and the shades everything will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out. Now I'm just baking my under eyes and my smile lines because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly and also if I get any fallout due to um, eyeshadows it will be easier to dust it off later. Now I'm finishing my eye makeup for that first I'm applying this Maybelline Colossal Kajal on my uh, waterline as well as I'm tight lining with it. Now I'm taking that dark chocolate brown eyeshadow and I'm just smudging out my lower lash line for that I'm using an angled brush. Now I'm taking the emerald green color and I'm applying it on the center of my lower lash line. Basically I'm uh, repeating the same thing that I did for my eyelids. And I'm just applying the golden eyeshadow. I'm taking this wet and wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals and I'm just uh, highlighting my brow bones as well as my inner corners. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going to create a wing of the camera. For that I'm using this L'Oreal eyeliner in jet black, sorry carbon black. And I'm just dusting up the excess powder. I'm sorry I became a little out of frame. I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with this Essence Lash Prince Lash Lash Ah Lash Princess Mascara. And for my lashes, I'm using this Adele Demi Lashes in 120. And here is the final eye look. Now for contouring, I'm using this Makeup Revolution Dual Face Sculpt. And with this angled brush, I'm just contouring the parameters of my face like the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline forehead as well as my nose for my blush i'm using this milani baked blush in luminoso and i'm just applying it on my cheeks to have that nice flush of color i'm just highlighting the high points of my face with the same uh, wet and wild highlighter for that i'm using a fan brush i mean you know that really light like the cheekbones chin cupid bow down the bridge of my nose and the sides of my forehead now i'm just setting my entire face using this wet and wild makeup setting spray this is the cucumber one and for my lips, I'm using this Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Berry Recognize. It's a stunning berry pink color. You can always um, use any lipstick of your choice, but I think this lipstick is perfect for this eye look. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and please do share this video and if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram, 
and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out so see you in my next video till then bye and take care